we did a lot to our house. Um, we redid this porch and we redid the floors and the walls and the ceilings in two rooms, the bathroom and the laundry room. And we did another floor and like a little walkway. And we redid all the piping and all the plumbing and, every and everything. And it was kind of hard, like the boys worked on it for like four straight days. And yesterday afternoon we turned it on to see if it would work. And it wasn't working. We kind of did the piping like backwards. Like it was trying to get the water from the sink back to, uh, I don't know where the water is. Um, so the guys were kind of frustrated. And we could tell they were frustrated. And then they worked on it for the rest of the day and then this morning. And we tried it again. And it still didn't work. It was leaking in places. So they're still frustrated. But a little bit happy because it was leaking. And then they fixed it. And then it started working. And it was all good. All good. And, yay. Oh, we insulated. But insulation. We fixed the mailbox. Yes. Um, painted the door. Put a new door in. I fixed some windows. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we did a lot to the kitchen. New floors, new kitchen. New countertops. New countertops. No I just want to thank everybody for just doing all they did. These kids work like there was just no end to it. They got in there, they fixed it. And even when they got frustrated, they were still trying to fight to do it. So they acted just more adult than I've seen kids <laughs> act in a long time. They were on it. I mean, they gave me new hope because I had lost hope in my house. And just seeing them that Monday, that Tuesday, I was ready to do something for myself. So this has gave me a new lease on having a better home to stay in. So I thank you all so much. <laughs> and Mr. Barry and Mr. Mike, all the credit for being good leaders. Because they really put these kids and they learned some great lessons. They learn one especially that I like is patience. Alright, y'all come on through.